Hi guys, I will tear down uh, this thing in order to show you. It is a uh, Russian Jeja counter model DP5A. In fact, it is a really, really uh, common and easy to find uh, Russian Jeja counter. So the nice thing with it is that the dial is uh, will uh, glow in the dark. It is uh, phosphorescent. I don't know if I can show you here, but it glows uh, pretty much, uh, pretty well. It is a really a nice glow, and this uh, round uh, knob indicate legend label also. It will glow in the dark. So here is you have the. I believe it is a volume knob for uh, headphones. Here is the zero set uh, setting for the galvanometer. Here is the main switch. And here, uh, here you have uh, scale, sensibility scale. So in the cover you have some uh, instructions. And uh, this is missing, but this was the, the place for a test source. But it was removed here. So I will remove it from its. So it is a semi. Uh, a sky or a false uh, lever pouch, but the parts on the side for uh, keeping the closure in place are a real lever. So, here is how it looks like. You can see the nice uh, Amberton uh, body. Here is the battery compartment, it is for uh, bright cells. A special side, but you can uh, make uh, some arrangement with AA batteries, I think. And here is the probe. So there is uh, approximately one uh, one meter long uh, cable. And the probe has a uh, beta and gamma shield. So first, I will open the probe for you. It is very straightforward. You just uh, unscrew here. And I wonder if there is something in this. In fact, I never, uh, never opened this. Quite strange. So here is the uh, inside of the probe. You have so one. Uh, this is a treasure tube. This I do not know. It is quite weird. And on the other side, you have two small uh, vacuum tubes for pins and some uh, resistors and capacitors. And it's all for it. So I will put it back together. So the contents of uh, the main uh, unit, I believe you will be interested. So it is really easy to open, you just two screws to remove. And it should come flawlessly. Almost. Okay, so here is the inside. So I will not uh, remove the wires. Ah, you have, in fact, it is quite easy because you have uh, fresh cotton things. So you can uh, easily remove the wires. I did not expect that. It is really nice. So uh, inside, uh, you have, uh, it is not circuit board. It is a rather bulky lit bonds. There is no printed uh, tracks on them. It is just a binding pots for the parts. So what do we have here? It is very interesting. So you have one over of these uh, devices. I do not know. Maybe I can switch one, one more light. Okay, so like this, it will be better. So you have one more of this uh, kind of uh, vacuum uh, tube things with only two maybe it is just a vacuum resistor or something like this not sure 
some old mica capacitors uh, another kind of uh, old capacitor with ceramic so this is a stack stack of selenium rectifiers around the selenium rectifiers all uh, stacked together in a tube you will find uh, similar things in uh, a small hand handheld uh, russian tv set it is a 14 uh, centimeters uh, black and white TV set you can find quite easily in the flea markets. They are called uh, Silelis 405 usually, and you have almost the same ones inside. So here you have a debug mounted uh, transistor. Here you have uh, bulbs for uh, the back uh, backlighting the diameter, which is quite nice. Yeah, so it must be this button for uh, backlight. On the other side, uh, in fact, it is quite straightforward. You have a bunch of uh, potentiometers for uh, setting the sensibility of uh, on the uh, several scales. You have a body of a galvanometer, of course. You have a body of a rotary switch here. You can see it is really, really a uh, nice uh, quality. And you have uh, one uh, metal can uh, capacitor, paper oil capacitor, very good one. And this must be a transformer with uh, glass sealed uh, connections. Now you can see the nice uh, olive green uh, color on it. So here we are for it, in fact. Maybe I can, yes, it is really, really well constructed because, in fact, I think just figure out you have one screw here, you can remove it, and you should be able to open the thing. It is really nice. So there is one more uh, vacuum tube here, or something, vacuum diode maybe. You have some more parts here, you can see the small. Uh, trim pots and the back side of the front plate quite a nice uh, wire harness so this one has a manufacturing date code of or oh it is uh, strange because the galvanometer is uh, 1984 but uh, this part for instance is uh, 1968 This is uh, 67, 68, so probably the galvanometer was uh, replaced at some point, at some point. They did keep making the same parts for a really, really, really long time, and maybe they are still making them. You can see a very nice uh, dial phosphorescent dial but it, it is not radium of course it is a uh, phosphor uh, phosphorus thing and it's not radioactive but it is a really really nice uh, i will put it some light on it and you will see it is uh, glowing in the dark okay so i really love the way this thing is made and the nice uh, umberton body is very great very beautiful and is very very typical of uh, Russian uh, equipment. You will see it a lot. I did already say it in two previous videos. So here we are. Really a nice uh, little thing. I did never test it in fact. I think you need uh, plus or minus uh, something volts. Yes, it is. Uh, you have a middle point in the batteries. So I will show you the battery compartment quickly. So there is a rubber seal. I believe the screws are uh, made in order you cannot lose them. Excuse me. This one is a little more difficult. Yes. So the rubber battery compartment. I'm not sure if the uh, battery contacts are still existing or if they are completely gone in this one. I had several of these devices and... Oh, it's neat. 
there is an adapter I did not make it uh, myself mm, maybe maybe not not sure and there is an adapter for putting uh, regular uh, AA cells so I may be able to try this in fact yes, you have to not sure if I have uh, AA a batteries and I don't think so no so we'll probably test it another time with uh, batteries and show you if it is working I need to check if it is uh, working and uh, find the uh, batteries anyway it is a shame I have no batteries really so but it is a good thing because I must uh, keep the batteries in place okay so it's all for this one and a neat little unit some people in the gig group IRC will uh, drool uh, at this video I know so thanks for watching, bye bye.